the benefits for the team are having guys like Corey and Zach come down? Uh, really good. I always say like everyone is like brothers and then they're like your cousins yeah. that you're going to get to train with now and then, not all the time, but you're just going to help push each other and support each other, just, just like a family, isn't it? the benefits that you get when you come and train at a different gym like IPC? It's not going to different gyms, it's coming to Abe. I, like, I love being coached by Abe. He gives me a completely different, he has a completely different way of coaching, different way of drilling. Uh, yeah, he's just a, he's, he's a class person to be around. So, yeah, I've been waiting to come down for a while, but obviously life gets in the way and stuff, and you know, it's not as easy to get down here. So, yeah, I just like coming down and getting his input, his style. I think his style's really gel with mine to put uh, striking into wrestling, into grappling. So, yeah, it's been class to get down. They're normally your training partners when you go over to Northwest, aren't Yeah, they? it's good. it's good for me. Uh, it's like I, I, I'm always in their corners, uh, and I've been since I've known them really. Uh, so I get to support them and and, and help them and like help push the same stuff Steve does as well. So it's uh, it's good to have them down like and in the gym. <laughs> When you always go to your own gym, you sort of know everyone's game, everyone's style. So like you're used to it all the time. But when you come to a different gym, it's obviously different looks. It's a bit of a shock to you. And it's it's a good look because you're not always getting the same sort of styles in your gym. You're getting different styles, so it's good. It's good for me. So you've got a fight coming up as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, three weeks, UKFC. Mm -hmm. New opponent, good opponent from a good gym, well respected, but we're coming for that W again. This is probably the busiest Bank Holiday Monday we've had. Okay, there's, there's a lot of you who are putting the time and the effort in, committing to improving and committing to help each other improve. And that's important as well. Like, like I said, it's just consistency. It's easy to have, have a Bank Holiday Monday off and, and not train. But it's good to see you all turn up and push each other. All right, get a picture, grab a quick picture, and jump off the mats for Jits. Thank you. Well done, jump off the mats, guys. We're next up. Thank you. And there's some fucking good level lads coming through as well. You know, you got KD on. You got, obviously, I, I get a lot of work in with Oli. Ollie, Ollie's a fucking great training partner, so. And you've got a fight coming up, haven't you? 21st September, bro, yeah. Yes, I, don't even, I don't even know how to say it. I think it's a burnout or something like that. <laughs> Chucking me in someone's back garden, I'm going to go out and swat someone. Are we, Jude? Not a fucking clue, I'm honest with you. <laughs> We're in Varenna, mate. Vienna. <laughs> Vienna, mate. Yeah. What country is Vienna in? Austria. I think you're right. Am I right? I think you're right. Fuck no, but... Tell yeah. everyone what's happened. <laughs> oh, we've had a nightmare of a day, to be fair. Getting sent up wrong train by some random woman. She so, comes over, doesn't she? Left the house at 6am. It's now 4.20pm. <laughs> Or in a different country. <laughs> and we're still nowhere near where we need to be. Yeah. 
We're having a walk because the next change in an hour. So, get to experience Austria, I think. <laughs> this is what happens when you're out the house all day and you don't eat. <laughs> That's made it up ten times worse than what it is, <laughs> by the way. We've both got two scoops. Where are we, Jod? Still at the fucking train station, mate. <laughs> What's happened? We got sent to the wrong platform. <laughs> now we missed it, now I've got to wait till ten past six. What a dear. We haven't stopped, have we? No. <laughs> We'll be there tomorrow, probably, Corey. Just in time. Just in walk time out. for the fight. <laughs> We're finally on the right train. One of two. <laughs> so we still have one more to go. We've set an alarm just in case we fall asleep. Oh. Where are we now, Jord? Rec Lab. What time is it? Five to eight. One more train to go. One more train to go. We've met some friends though, same situation. Bad day for all of us. We're in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> I had jam on toast <laughs> with electrolyte drink. I had chicken and rice, but I didn't finish all the rice, it was like fucking mash. And electrolyte drink. <laughs> I had, then straight after that, I went and got chicken and mash. And electrolyte drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, then I've had uh, nuts. Um, I've had fucking fruit, I've had sweets, <laughs> like try a drink, <laughs> I've had, and I've just had a lot of fucking chicken and potato there. Absolute wham. <laughs> so I'm shitting for it, I've needle. <laughs> <laughs> George is here, oh, I thought you just said you missed two trains. <laughs> we have missed two trains. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because no, one, no, one, no one in Austria spoke English. Not even in Austria, you'd have Wherever we were, though, <laughs> we were in Austria. We were, mate. I wonder, we... If, what, if what I'm earlier on a story, put wrong, uh, still not the right country. I thought, where the fuck are these? Austria. Like these? <laughs> we were. He's done nothing but fucking eat, mate. Nothing but eat. Yeah, he always eats. Yeah, but he talked. No, but he I said, said to that... like he's a guardian angel. He's trying to fucking. Look how tight those shorts are on his ass. You're, you're small, the jacks. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing looking at me? Like my cat. <laughs> I said to him the other day, they're going to split at the show. We're just off to find some food. It's been an absolute nightmare getting in. Left the house 6 a.m. Quarter past 10, we found our apartment. Spent half an hour with Corey and Steve. Food. Bed, work time tomorrow. Like Arnold Allen Paul and all his meal deals and the meals he cooks. I do watch some of his YouTubes as well. So this is a, a Welsh butty in Czech Republic. Just heading over to the hotel. For the morning shake out, get a training session in. We literally only woke up half an hour ago. Just just looking forward to the fight today. How do uh, how do we see the fight going? I probably in a dream scenario uh, see it going out of the first round, but I do think Corey can finish him in the first round by managing the distance and, and catching him on the way in. So that's my prediction, George. Yeah, same to be fair, if he goes out there and starts being loose like he, like he should be, then yeah, he'll put the guy away within the first first two rounds, i say. How does it feel to see Corey fighting on such a stage like this? I would say it it feels like it's where he's meant to be anyway. And it's normal, where, where the Where a lot of lads are meant to be, you just keep putting in the work rate and the effort and uh, you, you end up... With, having opportunities like this and it's great to see him like grow up and, and progress through through the amateur shows on UKFC and everything and now be fighting all over Europe. Fucking stalkers out. <laughs> Everything good with you? Yeah really good thank, thank you. Thank you so much. What's it like seeing Corey on 
Instagram. Was it like seeing Corey and that's him? This is where he should be, isn't he? Where he deserves to be. Where all the boys are going to end up if they carry on knocking people out on uh, UKFC. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to start knocking him out. <laughs> 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 Four each ball. Ah. Go ahead. No, oh, he's sound. Yeah. I can fucking live on for him. For him, eh? Yeah. See him try and counter strike as Lengal makes those entries. Nice teep though, and that was a nice shot from Fry. Very yeah. nice. And again, oh, in the midsection. That, that hurt him. Corey Fry, the sniper, looking to pick his target next. Corey Fry picking Lengal apart. He stayed tuned in, defensively sound. What a way to open the main card here at Octagon 61. And, and Fry turning Lengal into the grappler here. Oh, fainted, looked down and then came up with the head kick. Can he be the first man to stop Lengal with strikes in the MMA cage? Looking likely at the moment. 15 seconds left and a left hand. Working the body is Corey Fry. Unleashing shot, spinning it. Oh, up. Flat. Big finish from Fry at the end of round number one. As advertised, both bringing the heat, the fire, and setting the arena on fire. Jump me. I think there's a cut with Fry. Oh no, he's good. Toe to toe, phone box fighting between these two. And Lengales, listen to his corner, he's on the front foot. Beautiful left hook to the head, left hook to the body from Fry. Oh, he ducks it. oh my goodness! Corey Fry in trouble. What a turnaround this could be! Lengales looking to get the victory here. Dude, this could be it! This could be it! That is it! Oh my goodness, Lengales from the clutches of defeat on the back foot. Claims victory here in Bruno. It was good being back at Octagon, the atmosphere, the show again. I think there was 13,000 there. They just, nobody does shows and, and the production like them uh, and the support from the Octagon fans is. It's different, so it was good seeing Octagon again, seeing all the staff, seeing some people I'm friendly with, like, uh, it was great, Jack, uh, Brian, everyone, Pavel, it was great seeing, it, seeing seeing all them, and then the fight, I think, for Corey, it's one of them, you have to, like, and I said this on the night after the fight to him, you have to just put it into perspective over the time, and he got to show a lot of improvements in there, and I feel like he's still settling in to being comfortable on that on that stage, and it, it was a it was a lot more fishing than the previous fight. And you know he's he's probably lost the first minute of the fight, maybe, and then the last 20-30 seconds of the fight. The rest he's been 
he's been putting on a, a really good performance, doing everything that he'd planned to do and that we'd gone over and really controlled the fight. It was almost like he was one shot away from winning. And then that, there are those times you've got to stay, stay switched on and, and composed, but like it, it's, it's hard to pick a lot of negatives on it. It was, it was that good of a performance, just, just, just going over those little things, and I think he'll, he'll be able to watch it back and, and see that, and then and be able to grow from it and, and bounce back better. And that's the thing sometimes with fights, you have to like, can't always look at the wins and the losses. It's about looking at the improvements in between the camps and that like, you're still growing and developing. So it was. Uh, it was still a, a good good showing from him and I'm sure uh, he'll think that when he watches it back and obviously great to spend time with, with Steve and Jordan over there while we're there and then me and Steve ended up uh, jumping in the corner with Jack Grant for Scott Askham's fight which was a, a, a good uh, experience being in someone who, who's been around the game that long and a great, great UK MMA legend Hi everyone, I'm just doing a quick video to let you all know I'm alright. Um, obviously I'm very frustrated from the fight. I feel like, you know, the fight was going my way. And I just feel like, you know, I paid the price for a, a very small mistake that I made. Um, I'm very frustrated as I think it was my best performance to date. And I think that, you know, I, I really showed my skill. And, you know, it just shows in this game you switch off for a split second, you are going to pay the price. So... Yeah, I'll be back in the gym soon, chipping away, get, trying to get back in that wing column. But yeah, I'm just letting you all know I'm absolutely fine and I can't wait to uh, show you all you know, what I'm truly made of. And I really appreciate all your messages, all your support. Um, it really, really means a lot. So thank you. And I can't wait now to see my brother AB fight in Bratislava and, and, get, and get that win. Let's go.